I'm Hidehiko Yuzaki, Governor of Hiroshima Prefecture. Please let me express my heartfelt congratulations on holding the Global Positive Forum. I'd like to congratulate all who gathered today high-level figures in the fields of economics and politics, leaders of NGOs, youth representatives, and all other distinguished participants for holding the fourth Global Positive Forum to make a proposals to create a positive economy for the next generation. COVID-19 is now engulfing the world. It is no doubt that the globalization of economic activities accelerated the spread of COVID-19. It has also exacerbated existing societal problems. They include racial discrimination, escalating conflicts between nations, and the fragile healthcare systems of many countries. COVID-19, while causing a broader societal crisis, presents a great threat to people on an individual basis as well, burdening the rich and poor alike with a fear of infection. In this sense, challenges that COVID-19 poses are similar to those posed by global environment issues. Global environmental challenges comprise a global crisis causing disasters such as floods and shortages of food and water, but at the same time, they threaten the individual well-being of people living in every corner of the earth. The same is true of nuclear weapons. Many people consider nuclear weapons to be issues among the national governments. But they are also a critical matter for individual citizens, since if used, it is ordinary people who would be the direct victims. Within Europe, there are three nuclear weapon states and other countries with deployments of nuclear weapons by nuclear sharing. The termination of the INF and the issue of extending the new star directly affect Europe. Thus, perhaps, the issue of nuclear weapons feels more immediate to Europeans. In addition to directly endangering the people's lives, the explosion of nuclear bombs will destroy our environment, cause radioactive contamination, and bring about a nuclear winter and famine. In other words, any use of a nuclear weapon will greatly impact human security. I believe that various global challenges are related to business and the economy, and so we can find solutions through those lenses. Furthermore, I believe that it is time for us to shift the present paradigm so that business and economy address social problems, which will help lead us to achieve the sustainable development goals and in the end, global peace. To hold discussions on the involvement of business and economy in building peace, in 2013, Hiroshima Prefecture began organizing the Hiroshima Business Forum for Global Peace. In 2016, we invited to this forum Professor Philip Kotler, the father of modern marketing. This forum was the first international conference to delve into the relationship between marketing and peace and was themed the role of world business and marketing in realizing world peace. In addition, since three years ago, we have been honored to have one of the great thinkers of Europe, Mr. Jack Attali, as a speaker, uh, receiving his opinions on altruism and the positive economy with an eye on the planet and future generations. In this context, Hiroshima Prefecture has taken part in the positive index implemented by the Positive Economy Institute of both this and last fiscal year. As a result, the strengths and weaknesses of the uh, prefecture have been illuminated. In the fields of child care and digitalization, wherein the prefecture has positively enhanced the measures, we got high scores, and we would like to continue with these efforts. On the contrary, in the field of sports, 
which we have recognized as a part of our current agenda, recently enhancing related initiatives, we found there is more room for improvement. In this way, we were able to figure out the strengths and weaknesses of the prefecture through an objective index and improve on them, ultimately aiming to create a Hiroshima in which every citizen is happy to be born, to grow up, and to work in. As you're well aware, this year marked the 75th year of the atomic bombing of Hiroshima. As the governor of Hiroshima, a place which has risen from the ashes of such devastation, I believe it is my mission to work towards realizing a peaceful international society free from nuclear weapons. It is my sincere hope that all the participants of this Global Positive Forum will also direct their attention to this shared global human agenda and become our allies in the effort to realize a peaceful world without nuclear weapons. In closing, please allow me to conclude this greeting by once again congratulating you on this great achievement. Thank you.